Let's take a look at the use of some character pointers and uh, a little bit of uh, function calls with it. First of all, there are no string facilities in C. The C programming language does not understand what a string is, really. A string to it is just an array of characters with a null at the end. Uh, some way of telling you that you're at the end of the string. Strings are only handled basically by their pointer value, which is the pointer to the first character in a string. Now these two items that you see here are, are very different in their initialization and in their function. This is the initialization of a character array called A, and it will be set at compile time to the size necessary here to store the word and a zero at the end, a null to end, to end this string. And that will be put into memory so that it can be worked on and, and modified in some way. This, this is a character pointer called S, and uh, the star gives us the pointer, and it will be set equal to the address of this H. This is a pointer copy. So what has happened here, this will be put into a, a constant memory location, one that uh, we are generally not allowed to mess with, and the address of this H will be put into S. Let me show you what this looks like in, in code. Here's our, our piece of code, slightly different than the last pointer program. Here we have the array set up equal to hello world, and here we have an array pointer created with our asterisk set up equal to goodbye world. And what that is going to do this one will be initialized. This one, there will be a pointer copy done. Here we have a little integer to use down there in a second. While there's valid characters at contents of AP, uh, we will continue working our way through this string. We'll print out the address and then the character itself using the pointer and then the uh, contents of the pointer. Then we will increment the pointer of AP, this one here. Here, we cannot increment A. We can't do that to it. We can add to it but uh, and use it as a subscript, but we can't move A because A is an array, and arrays can't be moved around like that because they point to different places in memory. While A sub I, which as long as there's a valid character there, non-zero, we'll work our way through the while, we will print out the address and the character using A plus I in this format without the brackets. So this will actually be the address of A, its beginning, plus the current counter value of I. And because that's characters, that will work out for us. And here will be A sub I again, which is just the character, uh, including the null when we get to it. And uh, then we'll increment I and run our way through this loop. So let's take a look at pointer 2 and what it does. Let's make sure it's compiled and fresh. And it is, and let's run it. Pull this down a little bit for you. And there you can see with very different memory locations that Goodbye World and Hello World are stored very, very far apart from one another in our, in our memory, the way these bases and offsets uh, are working out. So very different locations and uh, very different storage methods, and that's caused by the use of an array versus a pointer and just a copy of this uh, initial value, the location of the beginning of this string. Okay. Get our screen back up there. So that's character pointers and functions, at least uh, the, the basics of it and how you have to be aware of the difference between the two.